uh, ABC station in Atlanta for TV purposes, brother. Can you switch your phone uh, so we get see? see if, there we go. Thanks, my guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hi, Drew. I'm David O'Brien with the Athletic. Um, growing up in Arkansas and going to the University of Arkansas, were you a Braves fan, being a Southerner, or is that just a, is that a little out of range? No, it's funny. Actually, I was a huge Braves, Braves fan. It's I was born actually in Gainesville, Georgia. I didn't live there for long, but my parents used to live live in Rome, Georgia, and um, the Braves. One of uh, my first MLB game was at Turner Field with the Braves. And was this? Uh, Alex said that they were interested in you last year after you finished up with Philly in nineteen. Had you heard from them or did you have any idea that they were interested in you before you signed with San Francisco last year? Yeah, we, we talked early in the off season. Um, so I knew the Braves were interested and, and as I was with them, um, it just didn't really work out until I was in 19 and ended up signing with San Fran. But then once I became a free agent again this year, Braves were one of the first teams to reach out and we, you know, got into a good dialogue and, Really excited that it was able to work out this season. Again, it's Zach with uh, ABC station in Atlanta. Uh, what was the perception uh, of this team from the outside? And what are you excited for most about joining this team? I'm sorry, my daughter's behind me making a bunch of noise. Aaron, can you? Um, let me go someplace quiet, sorry. <laughs> Put her on TV. Yeah, I'm sorry, hey, uh, ask that one more time. Your perception of this organization from the outside, and what are you excited for most? Well, just how young and electric they are. I've been, been able to – I watched them play when I was with Philly in 19. And, um, obviously, just such a young, energetic team. They're a ton of talent. And then watched them through playoffs this past year. And there's just so much going on right now. The brand-new ballpark, the team, they're just built to win. Um, so, really – once I became a free agent, I was like, I was interested in Braves right away. And once they expressed interest in me, um, you know, it really kind of made my decision pretty easy. Hey, what was the key for you last year as far as uh, the, the big improvement in uh, the strikeout rate and all that? I heard a lot about your spin rate. Did you, what did you do to improve that? And also your velo was up a couple of ticks on the fastball. Yeah, I think – Maybe more so than anything, it was just the year two of Tommy John. You know, I, I didn't play for two straight years, like at all, not one competitive game, uh, minor league or major league level through my elbow injury. And then last year, 2019, I was I was fully healthy. But, you know, it took a while for me to start feeling like myself again. I was I was definitely timid early on into middle of the season. And then um, I felt like I started to turn the corner a little bit when I was with, with Philly and Philadelphia. And then I had a whole off season just to get back to work out and not be injured or any like rehab type exercises. It was just, it was just a normal off season. And um, so I think that really just helped carry over into San Fran. But on top of that, I kind of through the quarantine process during COVID and the lockdown, I, I started messing around with weighted balls and getting into more of a weighted ball routine and throwing those. And maybe that on top of the, just the year two had, it was just kind of like the perfect recipe. Hey, Drew, this is Jessica Morado from MLB.com. One thing that uh, Alex really highlighted was your curveball. What do you think makes it so effective? I don't know. That's a good question. I've heard from a few different teams. It's just a really unusual spin, you know, how it, how it comes out of my hand. It's really hard for hitters to pick it up um, just from getting feedback from teammates when they stand in the box against me or facing some guys and then going over to their team and talking to the hitters that I used to, you know, face on the other side, they all kind of tell me the same thing that it's just really hard to pick up and they don't really recognize it. And I think a traditional curveball kind of breaks inward towards the righties, but mine kind of stays floating away. And I think that just kind of, it's hard for them to pull the trigger on it. So when I got to San Fran, they kind of, mentioned that to me right away and said I need to throw it more and use it more and I'll have a lot more success and um, so I think that played a lot into my the strikeouts this past season. 
And when you were uh, growing up as watching the Braves, I mean, should we assume that some of your favorite players are pitchers or can you give us a rundown of your, of your favorites? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I mean, just the Greg Maddox, John Smoltz, Tom Glavin, just that whole air. That's me and my dad grew up watching the Braves on uh, TBS and, you know, it was, I was always a Braves fan. Thanks. Hey, Drew, Chris Domino with 680 The Fan. I'm not really sure anybody knows what free agency is going to be this off season. Are you a little bit surprised that it happened this quickly? Yeah. I mean, it's always kind of scary over the last three, four, five years. I mean, since I've been a part of it, you never really know what to expect. Um, so I, I don't, I think unless you're, you know, maybe one of the cream of the crop players, everyone's a little, has a little bit of anxiety about it. Um, but like I said, Braves kind of reached out to me right away and were pretty aggressive with, with our communications. And to me, that, that meant, meant a lot. And I, I, I knew I wanted to – I didn't sign with the Giants last year until like January, I think. So I told my agent early on that like, it, you know, I'd really like to land in a spot. And like I said earlier, Atlanta was already on the top of my list. So like once they called, I was like, man, I would just love to get a deal happen quickly just so we don't have to wait out this, this – period especially with COVID hanging over everybody's heads um so yeah it was awesome that I was able to get it done quick hi Drew it's, uh, Henry Shulman from San Francisco um not local um <laughs> first of all thanks for everything uh, the past year uh with us um in San Francisco um there seemed to be a mutual interest between you and the Giants once the season over what happened there what season was over what happened there and did they actually give you an offer um, there is definitely interest. I, I loved my time with San Fran. You know, I, I hold them in the highest regards. I, they really helped me, and, and it was a really enjoyable season w working with all those guys. Um, they never offered me a, an actual contract. There was talk and there's dialogue, but they just weren't as aggressive and uh, as, as trying to sign players early into this free agency as the Braves were. So, you know, it kind of – it was just – it worked out well for me in Atlanta and um, yeah. Okay. And just a second follow-up question. Um, there was sort of word on the street that you, uh, that your agent was uh, asking, was seeking a multi-year deal and you may have even had a multi-year deal on the table. Did you turn down any multi-year deals uh, to take this one in Atlanta? I never received multi-year deals. Um, there was talk, but it all, you know, there was teams that you, they call and they ask and there's conversations that are had. Um, but it really just, it comes down to, for me, it was teams that were, that were built to win. And I, I, you know, I've, I've been on some good teams early in my career when I came up with the Tigers, we were able to go to the world series. And I know that feeling of what it feels like to win. And then I, I went to the playoffs two years in a row in 12 and 13. And then I haven't been back to the playoffs since. So, you know, when I become a free agent last year, when I signed with San Francisco, they obviously had a great team, but it, it was more of, of me trying to find myself and, and, you know, reinvent myself as a pitcher after the Tommy John. And um, this year I, you know, I really wanted to be in a place that, that was, had a strong team and, and um, Braves were, I, I were, you know, the best opportunity in that. Okay. Thank you. And the best of luck to you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Drew, I think sometimes when, when guys become a little bit more veteran, especially around here with the young staff, there's this whole idea that there's this extra added bonus that a guy might bring besides just what he gives you on his fifth day. Can I ask personality wise, the idea of maybe being a veteran guy around some of the younger guys that Atlanta has, have you had a second to think about that? Yeah, I realized talking with Alex, I knew they were young, but I didn't realize how young some of all the starters were. Um, but that's exciting. I, you know, Alex talked to me about that and, and helping some of these guys come along and, and that's, it's an honor that he thinks that I can, uh, provide some input to some of these guys and help them with anything they need. I mean, I've seen them all pitch and they're all extremely talented and, and I don't know if they need to hear much from me, but, um, if I'm able to there to help them any time down the road, or if they face adversity, I've been through that and I know what it takes just to keep bouncing back up and, um, uh, it's going to be exciting to work with those guys. I'm sure I could learn a lot from them too. I mean, just watching Freed pitch over the last year and a half has been, he's pretty nasty. So I think me and him being lefties together, that'll be a fun, fun little lefty one, two punch. 
you mentioned going to the postseason two years in a row early in a career. Were you one of those guys? A lot of guys will tell you, I just thought this is what happens. I just thought you go to the postseason and you get a shot. Then all of a sudden you're without it for a while. And uh, and, and sort of a little bit more than just a burning in your belly. You're not very happy about the situation personally, as well as from a team point of view. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I was really fortunate how I got brought up with the Tigers, just right place, right time. And we had a tremendous team. I was the young guy pitching in the staff with Justin Verlander and Max Scherzer and Rick Porcello. And I mean, just Cy Young's down the list. And um, they really helped me and brought me in and put their arm around me. And, and that's kind of how I feel like I can do um, with some of the young guys on this staff if they ask for my help. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you walk in and then as a rookie, I kind of took it for granted. You don't really realize how impactful and, and hard it is to get there to get to the World Series. And then the second year, we just my second year there, we just missed out on the World Series, losing the Boston and the ALCS. And um, then I got traded the next year and I haven't been back to the playoffs since. So I definitely don't take it for granted. I know how fun it is to play in those big games. That's what as players we all cherish and we all look forward to. So I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. They've won their division, I think, three years in a row now. And I'm just I'm excited to be able to jump in and help out in any way I can and, and be part of this ride. Hey, Drew, Drew, just, for, like... just for the sake of accuracy, um, baseball reference has you being born in Little Rock. So you're saying it was actually Gainesville, Georgia, and you were raised Yeah, in I Little definitely Rock? wasn't born in Little Rock, yeah. <laughs> I've lived there most of my life. So okay. I, I grew up in Arkansas, but no, I wasn't born there. Born in uh, Gainesville, Georgia. All right. Thanks, yeah. Man. Drew, you look like you're in a bit of a tropical paradise right now. Um, where do you spend <laughs> your off-season, and what does your off-season training program usually look like? Uh, I moved out to Scottsdale like three years ago. So I live here in, in Arizona and it is pretty nice in the winter. Um, can't beat it really. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm already working out. I'm already playing catch. Um, I just, I enjoy, you know, staying in shape and, and I don't, I like, I take a few weeks off when season ends, but I like to, to keep my arm going and moving. I don't like to really sit around too long in the winter time. So I'm in just the middle of my off season workouts and just trying to, improve and, and continue where I left off last year at San Fran. Anything else? Just curious, so what's next? When are you going to come to Atlanta, look for a place, and let your daughter uh, run wild? Yeah, uh, my, I think my wife just took her on a walk, so she's out of here now. But um, I don't know. I guess I'll have to start looking. Um, I got a good taste of Atlanta few days ago when I came down for my physical um but yeah I mean I really haven't spent much time there at all I've only been there once as an opposing player so I got a lot to learn I guess <laughs> your parents don't live in Rome now right they did live no in they're they're in Little Rock yeah okay all right thank you for the time Drew congratulations welcome to the organization thanks man all right Thank you, guys. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right. All right. Talk to you soon.